welcome back to our channel. My name is Dr. Jenny Lee. I'm Dr. Jeff Ader. And today we're gonna do what? Uh, see some more videos. Yes. Um, so last week we have done the viral self fat crack video. If you haven't seen it, you can click right here. But now we're gonna see popping gone wrong. Yes. <laughs> what has gone? So it's a nice wrong. way to kind of enjoy the morning with coffee and see what's going on there <laughs> all right let's waste no time let's go and uh, we haven't seen any of this video before so this is our first time yeah ready yep looks <laughs> <laughs> like he's traumatized or dead <laughs> maybe he's dead too Everything. I hope he got his money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, so I, I would think it's probably pretty painful because you are using your knuckle to go against your joint. It's like a bone on bone. Like as a chiropractor, yeah. usually we wanted to use your. Well, essentially, when it comes to adjusting, you want to make sure you kind of follow the, the pulse of the patient. You don't just want to slam on the back. You, know, you want to make sure they're breathing okay, kind of slowly feed into when you're about to adjust, then go ahead and do it then too. And there's certain angles that you have to take based on how the bone yeah, is. Yeah, based on anatomy. Yeah, based yeah. on anatomy and the bone and whatnot. So yeah. you want to make sure that you give that correct adjustment without just trying to randomly whack on some guy. Yeah, it looks like he just really tried to like... Get whatever popping he can. Through that, uh, each and every joint. Mm. But um, how to be careful with that? Because if you apply the force in the wrong direction, you can actually break a rib. Or just make it worse in general. Yeah, or make a rib. Oh, I just fell down on it. That was kind of funny, though. <laughs> yeah. But just don't do that. Yeah, just <laughs> so don't do that. Don't that do could, that. That could, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but that can, there are some reports, very, very few of people trying to self-pop their neck and then certain mm -hmm. uh, problems occur when that happens then. Uh, can you break your own neck? No. Yeah, you can't. I can't, no. No, no. Uh, Not by doing that anyways. Yeah, exactly. Can another human break another? Can one person break another human's neck? I mean, if they're trained. <laughs> a trained assassin. I mean, like... <laughs> no, if, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's not, right? No. And the reason being that so is because our joint is actually pretty strong on top of all these layers of tissue on top so it's it takes a very specific amount of force right it, 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 like those those movies where you see them just kind of going like this yeah. like with gradual ease isn't that's, that's not, the not case. possible yeah Doctor just self do so it recently uh, i'm having a lot of back and neck issues it's so i've been to the local. chiropractor and then they've done some adjustments and i'm like oh shit this, this thing's pretty cool i gotta do, try doing myself at home so I've done some research on, on YouTube and stuff, just self-adjustment methods. So I need to do a PSA, right? You don't crack your neck downwards. Like, because you crack downwards, it causes your spine to miss the line. You've got to crack it upwards. So that your C5, C6, the vertebrae, you'll release the spinal fluid and then the tension is less. So one hand under your chin, just go up or in this right. So whichever is like, just like do it one time and hard, like kind of like this. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, let, 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 let's get our advice from some random guy on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so how about what? What about when he said about just, your just crack? Don't do just don't act. Do don't don't don't. That's crack. a lot of extensions, right? Yeah, don't don't crack doing like that. Don't listen to any person online, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever the hell it may be. Just don't do that. Yeah, just don't take a don't take a don't take your advice from some seventeen year old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen this guy do this a few times, so. I want to see if it, if it works. I'm not sure if it will. No, it doesn't work. Let's try it anyway. No, it doesn't, doesn't work. Now the problem is...
yeah yeah don't don't try to do things online that you see if you see someone else do it and there's people who pretend to be chiropractors who just see some videos online and then just go ahead and do it without any sort of clinical training and whatnot yeah. so you know don't bother doing that stuff <laughs> because I, I think what happened is whatever uh, that video I saw is not suitable for everybody and clearly this gentleman is not who, in shape to you know, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then he's a little older. He probably has some other issues in the back he's not aware of. Right. And so, again, you have to get that checked to see. Not that I'm saying that he, if it's fine that you should do it, but again, if he's someone else, do it online. Mm. You shouldn't be <laughs> trying to mimic it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, f for him, he's just, he just putting himself in a lot of risk. You know, what if he actually have some kind of a facet or disc issue that wasn't was underlying or he wasn't sure about that and then he tried this then he actually yeah, it made, make it, made worse. it worse you know I and lift and lift yep you <laughs> cracked <laughs> <laughs> I don't know look at your shoulder shoulder well again yeah. go ahead okay. okay if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna possibly break something and so this one looks like they potentially did something with her shoulder. Who knows if she potentially did pop some sort of injury, pop it out, yeah. may need an x-ray, MRI, or something to see what's going on there too. So, you know, that's why you just don't do random stuff because if you don't know your human anatomy, you're just going to pop something out of place and then it can cause some sort cause of strain. Yeah. So actually, there, um, <laughs> there is uh, a nurse, again, talk about, you know, sometimes she did see people came to the ER because of, you know, what did you do? You know, I get my friend, pop my back, then now I cannot feel my legs. Those does happen. It does happen. Yeah, it does happen. Like I said, I had a patient last year that popped their neck, and then after he did it once, it went pain right down his shoulder. And so he came in for one visit, and we fixed it. But, you know, he acknowledged the fact that uh, you probably shouldn't he probably shouldn't do that because <laughs> he had the pain for a good year. Yeah. And so, and he didn't do anything about it until he finally came in. And, you know, yeah. those kind of situations happen. In a very, very rare case, you're going to have people who accidentally pop the wrong bone, which can cause some sort of fatal injury. Mm, yeah. So, you know, you have to be wary of that if you're going to do that, that kind of stuff. I mean, like, whatever reason you're doing this to yourself or, you know, you thought just be cool. Ask a most people think it's, like, look, from yeah. what we've seen, most people think it's, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Uh, or like a party trick, you know. There's other ways you can, you can do a, um, you know, at a party to entertain your friends rather than I don't know, put your body at risk. Yeah, I've had a few beers. You're gonna start doing some. <laughs> but anything stuff. makes sense mm -hmm. after a few beers. Okay. Great. House party. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Yay! Big cracking Yay. session. You <laughs> <laughs> did to me. I think I just have too much fun. So. Yeah. Probably had a few things. Wait, 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 uh, essentially, happened? I don't know. Maybe she just overextended, Sterner? hyperextended herself. Maybe it's yeah. a sternum. Maybe she pulled a muscle. Who knows? Again, if you do a bunch of random cracking, popping in your back, I mean, this bad is stuff can happen. Happens. Yeah. yeah. If you don't know what I you're know. doing, all right, then <laughs> bad stuff is about to happen because you don't know to what extent you can actually <laughs> push the bone. Or this move that you are put your hand behind and get someone to doing this at the risk. Of doing that, I mean the hyperextension, that kind of thing you saw yeah. right there. Um, you don't necessarily know what sort of issues that can come about. You could pull a muscle. It looks like they she pulled a muscle in that particular part. Yeah, maybe in the front. In the front, uh, sternum. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe m more in the abdomen area than two. Maybe she tried to overstretch it then as well. Probably yeah. pulled a muscle there as well. Yeah. She really hyperextended. Yeah. That back to get something to pop. If again, you're just looking for something to pop. You don't know how far you're gonna go with it. <laughs> Or someone who potentially had a disc issue. You know, there's a lot of people who potentially have a disc issue by walking around without Yeah, the, about 50% are asymptomatic. Asymptomatic, right? <coughs> so if you do that jerky movement, you're sending that shock mm. right to the spinal columns. 
so and, and the thing is that these people are young they won't feel it but these small little micro traumas will eventually add up over the course of time so in another mm-hmm. five to ten years all this stuff will happen she probably just does this a lot you know and then she will <laughs> start to build on top of that if you knock something out and then in five yeah. ten years she'll start having some back pain with yeah. it then because at home no matter how many drink you had yeah. or how convincing your friends are i saw it online i gotta yeah do it. like i do this like no 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 guys thank you for tuning in um yeah. just kind of gave her insight on some of these videos in particular these cracking popping videos which gone wrong or they just give terrible advice <laughs> um, so so don't don't try to mimic anyone you see online yeah. i would Wait, don't mimic anything. We are online. Yeah. Should we not trust us? Well, no, no. Well, don't mimic that. I'm not saying you see us. Go ahead, do it. But you should see if you're wanting to get your spine adjusted. You go ahead and see a licensed practitioner, someone with a lot of experience in that particular field. Yeah, who really know what they're doing, rather than put yourself in a such risky situation. You mm. could, you know. Uh, who knows? Who knows what will happen? I'm pretty right? sure many people never took an anatomy <laughs> course. You know, so just pop it. Okay, fine. Yeah, exactly. They, your friends is not the go-to person to do this okay so if you like our video please uh, comment below and uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, we will see you next time welcome (laughs) guys